Hi folks, I'm Terry Tripler and this is my view. Well, today is Monday, February 16th. Hope you had a great Valentine's Day and you're enjoying President's Day. You know, last week we discussed the testimony that FlyersRights.org gave to the House Aviation Subcommittee and they had a handout that went with the testimony and it was uh, titled uh, Sample Airline Stranding Long Tarmac Delay Stories. Had six stories on there last week. We talked about one. Here's one this week. It's uh, another diller. It's talking about a Delta Airlines flight from Atlanta to West Palm Beach. It was January 16th, obviously, of 07. Uh, the, the plane pushed away from the gate, and now I quote, the pilot said they would have to de-ice. What was never shared with them was the number of jets in the de-icing line were 90. At 25 minutes per jet to de-ice, they were in the de-icing line for five hours before the pilot came on and said he was returning to the gate to allow folks to go get food, water, use the restroom, and they had 15 minutes. Does anybody think, wait a minute, 90 jets, 25 minutes, that's 37 and a half hours. So, FlyersRights.org likes to make things dramatic and says what was never shared with them were the number of jets in the de-icing line were 90. Well, what FlyersRights.org never shared with Congress and never shared with us was that there are six de-icing pads in Atlanta. So we're talking more or less 15 jets ahead of this one. Now that's still six hours and 15 minutes to the ice. But nevertheless, it's better than 37 and a half hours. What's wrong with giving people all the facts? I, re I realize it's less dramatic, but it's more truthful. Now the pilot goes back to the gate, allows the people 15 minutes to go get food, water, go to the restroom, whatever. Uh, some people may have wanted their bags. He said, you can't get your bags. Uh, of course, they're not going to take the time to get under the belly of the plane and look for bags. And so they'll go back out, and they're going to have to get back on the de-icing line. Uh, Here's, here's the problem I got with that. First of all, you know, bags. What, are you worried about your bags? If I've already been to the icy line for five hours and I've gone back to the gate and I've gone potty and got myself a Diet Coke or whatever, and now I realize I didn't get the ice when I was out there the first time, so I probably am going to have to go to the line again. If I'm looking at 10 hours, I'm probably going to ask to get off the plane and I'm not going to worry about the bag with my jammies in it. I'll say, you send it to me somewhere else. I'll just get off and I'll get where I'm going when I get where I'm going. Uh, so I'm not one that freaks out about my bag. Now, here's, now, it gets more dramatic. It is just so good, folks. It says here, the elderly were shaking and the diabetics were near shock. I'm a diabetic, folks. Now, if I'm a diabetic, I have the diabetes, not Delta Airlines, and I can get off that plane in that 15 minutes, and I will go and get something to eat. I also will carry food or whatever I need with me so I don't go into near shock. And then it says that uh, for solid days, the Atlanta Constitution Journal reported that the airlines had 30 to 90 jets, de-icing, and folks sat for 8 to 10 hours on the aircraft. Now, you've got to get this. I'm quoting this now. And folks sat for 8 to 10 hours in aircraft that held live, human beings who are parched, hungry, tired, and unsuspected. So the planes have live human beings as opposed to dead ones. I mean, this is, this, how can a place, an organization like FlyersRights.org be taken seriously when they put out garbage like this? I'm Terry Tripler, and that's my view.